The Claiborne at Hattiesburg is uh, a continuing care retirement community and one of the goals is to provide a continuum of care for our residents. So um, we have independent living cottages for folks who just want an easier lifestyle, who want their housekeeping done for them, um, who want their landscaping taken care of, easy living. We also have an, an assisted living and memory care building with 68 apartments. So assisted living provides a little more hands-on and personal care, a little bit more touch from our staff. We provide all their meals, housekeeping is provided, we have transportation and a full-time activity director for activities. And then we also have a memory care community um, for folks who have memory impairment and that um, portion of the building is secure. It gives them the security of being able to, to walk around, enjoy the outdoors, there's a, there's a courtyard for them. We wanted to create something that somebody could be proud of to live in. We uh, designed the roads that you'll see around the community to have a neighborhood feel where you have a cottage on one side and even though you're in an assisted living you have a porch that you can look out and make you really feel like you're part of a community. We have residents who are totally independent, all the way up to residents who require a tremendous amount of care. And we try to be as accommodating to their needs as we can. Um, it's not like anything else in, in this area that I know of. The building was designed for an active lifestyle. There's uh, a media theater, there's courtyards, there's walking paths. Um, but if you wanted a, a, a quiet evening out on your porch in the courtyard or sitting um, under the porch and enjoying the, the gas fireplace, um, there's those opportunities as, as well. These are our resident pendants and every resident who comes on site gets a pendant issued to them. This is connected to a call system. So if a resident needs assistance, they simply mash their button and our nurses and our personal assistants get a page. Um, and they know to go and to assist that resident. Once they're there, they cancel that page so it's ready for the next call. We do monitor response times on a daily basis and staff up accordingly if, if we need to increase the staff that's required to answer these in a timely manner. Next door we're building a three-story building. It will be 132 units and that will be for our independent living residents. And those are just residents that are really looking to downsize. They don't really need assistance so they're not ready for that. We take care of all the landscaping and maintenance and they'll be busy. We have, we'll have a 10,000 square foot amenities building, activities that'll go on every day for them um, and different socializing opportunities as well as transportation. It's fun to watch my daughter walk into this facility and her eyes lighten up and see the happy faces and we watched football with a lady the other day and to come in and just be able to sit down and eat a meal with a resident and hear about their stories and uh, the veterans that we have here and the stories that they have. Uh, this is a truly awesome generation that is aging into assisted living right now. There's a lot of stories we can hear and learn and uh, less life lessons that we all need.